Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and I'm here at the gallery with a general tarot reading. This is an ongoing Cards of Truth series for the entire 52 card deck. Here is a chart to find your birth card. I've already cleared the cards and spent time meditating on my shooting star spread. I'm using the Cards of Truth deck for the overall starting point and then clarifying with the Ethereal Visions deck. I chose this deck because it has an artist card added into the major arcana. I'll close with a message from Spirit with the Soul's Journey lesson cards. If you'd like to know more about today's card, please pause the video and read the description box below. Okay, I'm going to adjust the camera now so that you can see the card spread for today. This is a reading for all Jack of Diamond birth cards. This is the Shooting Star spread. It's a three card spread about unblocking or heightening your creative flow. I like to take cards that spring from the deck while shuffling. That can take a while, so I've already done that and laid out the cards. There's no wrong way to choose cards. It's just what works for me. So the first row here represents your inner and outer resources, like the south node position in the Cards of Truth birth chart. Easily accessible because it's what you bring with you from a past life. However, there is a possibility it's so easy it's taken for granted. Second row is about tapping into what motivates you. Here it reflects the north node position in a Cards of Truth birth chart. It is, um, well, what, what will naturally assist you in your soul's journey and full potential. And the third row is what Source would like to share as guidance, pure and simple. So let's visit the first row for the Jack of Diamonds. What we have here is the Two of Diamonds, which is really appropriate. <laughs> the Jack of Diamonds is what they call the salesman card. So who better to connect and figure out and uh, place value on something other than a salesman? <laughs> and right? I mean, it's, it's really pretty sweet that he's got that or this not gender specific. It's anybody. Um, has the ability to discern value in something. And that can be concrete skills. It can be monetary, yes, but not necessarily. It can be an inner concrete thing as well. So first we have the Ace of Swords. Now this is really great because this is determination. It is the ultimate triumph over... Um, any kind of conflict or idealism. It is a beautiful card. You can tell right now that this is a high functioning, high vibration artist that we're talking about, creative. Next we have the King of Pentacles. Now this is in reverse. So this is um, about money and psychic powers, it's creative talents, and the king is uh, leadership, intelligence, and success. So if that's blocked energy or still in the subconscious, it kind of makes a little bit of sense because we are talking about someone who is aspiring to become better at whatever it is they're doing. It's a diamond. The pentacles reflect diamonds in the tarot suit. So it makes sense that he has that inner or outer resource as a mentor there for him. But I'm very excited about this next card. This is the artist card and it finally makes an appearance. So this card um, is an inner or outer resource in an already very artistic, intuitive, artistic reading so far, gets the artist card. Now, this is uh, saying, this card represents the 
like a, the artist is the vessel of creation. It signifies that um, mankind and it shows you uh, need to open to the knowledge that is available to stop and set aside the distractions of the human condition and listen, listen to that inner visionary, that connector, that interpreter of creation, really. It's, uh, it's passion. It is in the throes of creativity at its finest. Beautiful. And so for inner resources, wow, dynamic force. And then we have what would motivate. Lovely card, the queen of hearts. Now she is all about creativity. She is the, uh, she's magnetic and charming and has favorable, favor, favorable, <laughs> I'm so excited, favorable uh, influences over the other cards. It, it's just lovely. And I have to say that on, in, the, in the Jack of Diamonds birth chart that you'll see in the, in the video, just as this began, there's a chart and you'll see that the Queen of Hearts is on the, or in the Saturn placement for the Jack of Diamonds. So that's exciting because that is all about um, elimination and um, getting through something, you know, getting out with the old and in with the new. It's destruction. It's uh, a quick turnover. It's, it's finding value, too, in the elimination I'm, to decide what's valuable and what's not to you. Um, so, yeah, falls right in. Beautiful artistic spread. Uh, the next card is the death card. Now, it's often misunderstood, the death card, but the death card is really about uh, that destructive quality of Saturn because it is, again, out with the old and in with the new way of thinking or way of doing things. It's mentally and physically creating something fresh out of something old. Beautiful card. It's new beginnings in many ways. It's saying goodbye to what's not necessary anymore and saying hello to something something new. And now you have the, the Hierophant, which is also a great card for this creative to get. Um, the Hierophant is all about old school knowledge. It's action from lessons learned. It is um, it, it's source sharing a secret with you, but it's always going back to what you know and finding something new within that. So new information out of an old lesson. So you can teach an old dog new tricks with this card. Then we have the Seven of Wands as a motivator. So the Seven of Wands is an interesting card to get because this is about gains and success and advantages, which of course a Jack of Diamonds or anybody would really like to have. But it's all about, I mean, if you're thinking about him as a, this person as a salesman, someone who is able to really sell themselves, sell their art, has that gift of speech, really. And that brings us to the Six of Spades. And this is what Source would like to share. The Six of Spades is also in the Jack of Diamonds uh, Cards of Truth birth chart. It is on the Venus placement. So in the Venus placement, the Six of Spades, which is 
a fabulous card to get in any situation. This is all about healthy, healthy as you can get. It's about uh, larger fulfillments. It's possibilities. It's you reaping reward for the work that you've done, things you deserve to get. It can be like a, a most satisfying card. It can be you enjoying whatever to the fullest. And spades, remember, are about mental and physical health. So this person is at the top of their game. <laughs> and Source wants to remind you of that. Just beautiful. And interestingly, because of that, it's like you're ready. You're ready to embark on a new endeavor, which is the Two of Wands. This is maturity. It's uh, attainment. It's control. It is being satisfied and happy with what you have, but you are ready to move on mentally thinking about what next might might happen, what next you might set your, your sights on. And then we have the Two of Pentacles, which is another lovely card. As you can see, it's all about the balance in the dance, the dance of just um, the endings of trouble, it's new beginnings, it, uh, it's a great card to get. Finding the balance, yin, yang, <laughs> wabi-sabi, all of that good stuff in the value, right? In the value of what you find, you know, of value. So it's taking an assessment of where you're at, where you want to go, what's feeding your interests. And last but not least, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful card to get. She is prosperity, well-being, freedom, money, um, really just there. It's all about, uh, oh, and psychic powers, right? And she is creative talent. Just a lovely spread. Unbelievable. Huh. So the last card that I would share with you that Source guides me to is found by moving my pendulum across the Soul's Journey spread out deck. It can take a while, so I've already done that too to save time. And you got, you got the Freedom card. Yes, Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. How beautiful. So this is about um, honoring your totality. It's being free from judgment and finding true freedom. You know, freedom, freedom for the soul. It's um, freedom to follow your own path. It's not giving in to peer pressure or trying to fit into somebody else's idea of, well, of value. It is you finding your own value in what you are, your own uniqueness. It's marching to your own drum. <laughs> Just, I love it. I can't imagine what an interesting and clever person you must be. Well, thank you. I hope that uh, all of you Jack of Diamonds out there found this interesting and helpful. And if you're not a Jack of Diamonds, you might look into your own Cards of Truth birth chart and see if you have that placement there. I do. As a Seven of Clubs, I have it in my North, um, north Node spot. So it's my job to become better at this <laughs> as a creative and gallery owner. So I really appreciate this spread and being able to read it from that point of view for me. 
Um, yeah, so see if you have it in yours and you can contemplate this reading with your placement of the Jack of Diamonds in mind. Happy creating! So creative, stay true to your uniqueness on your creative path, and I hope this gave you some food for thought. Please subscribe and hit that like button. It means a lot to me and my soul and life purpose. Thank you.